happening right now, an open house for the community to learn more about the Omaha streetcar. Good evening, I'm Quinicia Fraser. And I'm Bill Shimmer. Project leaders want to hear from you on designs and stop locations, and they'll answer questions about how the streetcar will be paid for. KETV Newswatch 7's Josh Cristianto is live at Midtown Crossing. Josh? Yeah, the big f features revealed tonight are those potential stops along the route, all of which seem to be evenly spaced, so you do hit all those major commercial districts like Blackstone, where one sandwich shop tells me that it'll change the way they do business. Putting a streetcar together isn't as fast as making a sandwich, but for the owner of Get Real Sandwiches in Blackstone, the project could be just as tasty for business. I think it would broaden it tremendously, um, just from people that are, like you said, it goes downtown and comes all the way through. I think that it'll just bring a lot of exposure. Benefits for shops and restaurants are just a few of the streetcar authorities pitch for the project. Now we know the stops they're looking at from the corner of Jean Leahy Mall on 10th to 37th and Farnham in Blackstone. There are 22 total and public input could change some of them. Some stops have more latitude for movement than others. Again, we have those geographic constraints that we have to consider, uh, but the input we receive will certainly be considered and used as we advance the design. Project organizers also provided these renderings, giving us a glimpse of what the streetcar could look like. They met with five different car builders who had to consider Omaha's hills, climates, and needs. This presentation will help narrow the design down. I lived in San Francisco for a while, and I think that it would be great if they looked like that. I think it's really nostalgic and cool to, you know, have people be able to, like, hop off the trolley at their stop. For business owners in Blackstone, the streetcar could carry away a problem they've long seen one stop at a time. People can't park when they come down here, and it deters a lot of people that are further up west from coming down here. Now, the final designs will be decided this year with construction taking place over the following three years. The streetcar system itself will be on the move in 2026. Now, if you're interested in getting, giving some public input, this open house is open until 7 o'clock tonight. Reporting live, Joshua Sniato, KTV News Watch 7.